Here are seven creative music project ideas. You could perform along with a karaoke track. A karaoke track is one in which the melody or vocals have been removed from the song, but the other instruments remain, like drums, piano, or guitar. Jeremy Green was made famous for playing popular music on the viola, playing along to karaoke tracks. If you're looking to play music using a karaoke track, you'll want to search the name of the song and then the word karaoke into YouTube. Most popular songs are available in this form. If you're looking to play other styles of music, like folk, rock, or jazz, sometimes you can use the term backing track instead of karaoke. If you're performing a classical piece of music, you can add the term accompaniment to your search of the piece. Accompaniment tracks usually have solo piano and sometimes organ or even an orchestral accompaniment. Practicing along with karaoke tracks are both more interesting to the listener and are great for your musicianship. Another project you might choose is to use the app Soundtrap. Soundtrap is available on a mobile device or any device that can access the internet, including Chromebooks and Mac computers. Here we see it at work. This woman started by recording some vocal percussion and then a guitarist. She's going to loop those. She's looping the guitarist's eight notes or so and building a song by using this method of looping. Here she's going to record a cellist and loop her three notes to add to her song. You can see that she's doing this directly into her phone. You could also go directly into a Chromebook, laptop, or desktop. Now she's using a feature where she can ask for other people to play on her song. This drummer found her request to add drum set, and she replies that she'd be happy to add to the song. All these collaboration features are available through the app. Musicians can get improved sound using this app because even if they don't have a nice microphone, they can add effects to their instrument to improve the quality of the sound. Soundtrap is a great option for those who have used programs like GarageBand. Very similar interface, but with additional collaboration features, allowing you to communicate and record together with friends, all online. Another project you might use is an app called Acapella. I love the app Acapella. I think it's very intuitive, easy to use, and a great tool for collaboration. Acapella is a video multi-tracking app that allows you to record yourself multiple times and collaborate with other musicians. Once you record yourself playing one part of the song, you click another square in the mosaic and with headphones, listening to the previous recorded track, you can play along with it to add an additional video. You can continue to do this with yourself multiple times, or you can choose to share the project using a collaboration link where they will have an option to add to the video as well. Acapella, unfortunately, is only available for Apple devices, and the free version only allows for 30 seconds. But its capability alone is worth trying. Very intuitive, and it also has the same options to equalize or add effects to the instrument so that even if you're using a subpar microphone like these Apple headphones in the video here, 
you can still get a good sounding final project. You might also choose to do a live stream performance. You'll have to promote and publicize it and use any social media platform of your choice. If you choose to share this, you can be sharing your music with family or friends. You can also partner with other organizations to expand the reach of this performance. This high schooler here at the beginning of the school year decided to do a Facebook Live of her performance of bluegrass music every week. You might also choose to use iMovie. iMovie has a split screen feature that also allows you to collaborate either with yourself or with a friend. This musician here is playing a duet, a flute duet, and she recorded separate videos using the split screen feature. If you want to use so more than two videos, creating these types of you'll have to export a split screen video twice and then combine those two videos into iMovie. You could do this indefinitely to create as many as you'd like, but you can only use two at a time using iMovie. You might also choose to do a live performance. Performing for family members, community members, or neighbors is a great way to share your love of music with other people. I think people didn't think that would be possible to perform for people because uh, of the distance we have to respect, but music can travel quite far and, and you don't need to be a uh, really next to each other to enjoy uh, that. Yeah, you feel like everyone's shutting away and hiding away. And so um, just to see smiling faces and people popping out of their doors was, was really lovely. Yeah, like being watched in a bar, but actually yeah. being live. I've been performing live since so the beginning like of the, the pandemic. In public spaces like parks, town centers, and even in my grandparents' and parents' backyards. It's a great way to put a smile on people's faces, especially if they've been locked away in their houses. Thank you. Finally, you might choose to make a music video. A music video includes your music in the background, and a storyline or narrative. These are some of my 8th graders in the past. They had to record video separately and then add audio using a program like Wii Video, Adobe Spark, or iMovie. I hope these projects inspire you to get creative with your own music, and I look forward to hearing what you have to create.